Mpande was born in Zululand in 1798, which was ruled by mighty King Shaka. I Mpande was part of the Zulu royal family and third in line to the throne after Dingaan. He had two sons, Mbuyazi, oldest, and Setueo, the youngest. Things were going well for Mpande when suddenly shockwaves were felt throughout Africa when Shaka was killed by Dingaan in 1828. Childless Dingaan also wanted to kill Mpande, but he couldn't because Mpande's children were heirs to the Zulu throne. Dingaan was defeated by the Boers at the Nkome River. Mpande seized this opportunity and sent assassins to murder Dingaan. Following Dingaan's death, Mpande became king in 1840. Twelve years later, Mpande's rule was weakened when the Zulus were struck by a terrible famine and mass starvation. By this time, Mpande's second son, Setueo, had become extremely popular. Despite this, Mpande still wanted Mbuyazi to become king. And so, a great battle took place. The Battle of Ndonda Kusuka. Setueo brilliantly defeated Mbuyazi and his white Zulu ally, John Dunn. Setueo became the de facto king of the Zulus until he officially took the crown in 1872 when Mpande died of natural causes. Mpande ruled for 32 years, making him the longest reigning king of the Zulu nation. Never forget Mpande ke Senzanga Kona. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Manic Minutes.